Hi there, it's Marvina Meek, and I wanted to welcome you to my psychic development training video today. And we're working on the tarot cards and the major arcana, and today we're focusing on the tin card, which is the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune card represents the universal principles of abundance, of expansion, and of prosperity. So it's a fun card to pull, and it, especially if it's upright. If it's not upright, then there's something blocking those uh, things in your life. The astrological sign Jupiter rules this card, and Jupiter to me is a card is a is all about luck, and it's about opportunity. And I was always taught that we make our own luck in this lifetime, and we do that through persevering and through working hard on the projects that inspire us and make our heart happy. So to me, if you want to make your own luck, then this card is reminding us that we do that by working hard, by uh, being diligent and following through with things that um, are projects that we have going on. The, um, there's several uh, symbols that are on this card. You have the, the Sphinx, and that reminds us to be objective. You have the monkey, and that's about being flexible. You have the crocodile, and that is uh, reminds us to express our creativity, uh, like the crocodile. And so those are uh, qualities that we want to keep in mind whenever we pull this card so that we can bring to us abundance and expansion and opportunity. When you look at, at the background on this card, you see a lot of stars and thunderbolts. And those are like um, visions that we might have and ideas and things that we, we feel the potential of, we feel the possibilities. Uh, you could call those aha experiences. There's a lot of swirls in the background too. And the swirls mean that, yes, we can have expansion. We can have abundance, but we can only have it if we're willing to risk and if we're willing to keep things moving in our life. So when we feel like we've hit a period of stagnation, then we're going to be moving backwards instead of progressing forward. And so anyhow, that's what those uh, symbols can help you to keep in mind. The other 10 cards also won value cards because the 10 uh, breaks down to a one value. So you can utilize the magician to uh, give you some other ideas about how you can uh, bring these, these things into your life. You can also use the aces uh, to help support you. And then um, the 10 of swords and the 10 of wands in particular, you can look at those really closely because they are likely going to be your challenges and different um, qualities that you need to overcome before you can really embrace this um, this period of opportunity. And that's what I look at it as. as like, um, it's kind of like a little sweet spot. We all go through these phases where uh, different uh, opportunities come and go in our life. But this is a, is a time where um, prosperity and abundance can uh, come into our life pretty effortlessly. Uh, of course, if this card is up. So, as usual, if this card is reversed, you're going to have some different uh, meanings, and you're going to do some need to do some different work and processing in order to um, for you to turn around uh, that negative uh, energy there. And you can research uh, through my blog and through my iTunes um, uh, account. I have uh, podcast audios. And they're free. They're very easy to download. Um, you can put them on your MP3 player or your iPhone or um, uh, listen to them on the computer. And then on my blog, I've got articles about the reversals of um, the major arcana. And so you can uh, reach both of those accounts um, through my website at marvina.com. It's www.marveena.com. So if you would like to um, have a tarot reading with me, you're welcome to book that 
you can uh, purchase that on my website also, on my products page. If you have questions uh, or comments, I'd love to hear them. Send me an email. Give me a call. And in the meantime, I hope that you have a really powerful day. Thank you. I'm Marvina Meese. Bye-bye.